Floating in the Indian Ocean between the vast expanses of Mozambique and Madagascar lies the enchanting archipelago of the Comores, a mystical land where volcanic islands rise majestically from the Sapphire Sea, their dark, rugged rocks seamlessly blending with lush forests that cascade into the crashing waves below. This secluded paradise, a secret to much of the world, captivated my heart with its vibrant culture and labyrinth stone alleys. I partnered with Adore Kamor for an unforgettable 10-day journey to unveil the wonders of these islands. My adventure continued to the second island of Moeli, a natural paradise with pristine private islands and close-up wildlife encounters. And here's how it went. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the Comores. Last time, I was on Grand Comore, showing you guys a little bit of Moroni. We also hiked up Cartella, the highest mountain in the Comores. And today, I'm partnering with Adore Comore, again, to show you guys some of the beautiful places on this little remote African island in between Madagascar and Mozambique in the Indian Ocean here. And the Comores is made up of three islands. And so today, I'm jumping on one of these little local boats, and I'm gonna be taking an hour, hour and a half ride out to Moeli, which is the smallest of the three islands and supposedly one of the most beautiful and one of the places that you can go to see a lot of wildlife and nature. There's supposed to be some sea turtles. If you come during the right season, you can see whales. You're gonna have some of the most natural, pristine beaches and so just some beautiful views. So I'm excited to head out there and explore and Adora Kamor is working on a high-speed boat that'll be ready in the next couple months. But today, I'm taking the local form of transport. So we load up in these tiny little fishing boats and we have a very choppy ride across the ocean here to the other islands. So let's load up the boats and we'll take this journey across the Indian Ocean. They have to push the boat out of the mud here because the high tide is coming in, so the boat was still stuck in the mud from the low tide. I've just finished my hour and 15 minute boat ride across the Indian Ocean here and fortunately it wasn't too windy so we've made it to the island of Moheli and I'm gonna meet my guide here we're gonna take some more local transport to the capital of Fomboni and then eventually we're going all the way to the eastern part of the island to Itzamiya which is where you can see some of the sea turtles and where they nest so yeah should be a pretty Interesting day getting a lot of the local transport and seeing a lot of just this local island in the Comores So let's meet my guide and then we'll get going. Hey, Abu All right, nice to meet you. I've just met Abu. He's a local here from the island of Moeli He's gonna be showing me around and first we're gonna be going off to Fomboni. Yes. Fomboni, nice. So which is the capital of Moeli, yeah. right? Okay, so let's go. taken a taxi from the little village port to Fomboni, which is the capital of Moeli. And Moeli is only home to about 50,000 people and about 30,000 of them live in the capital of Famboni here. So we're just doing a quick stop here, walking around the town a little bit. I think there's a local market that we'll check out and see a little bit of the local life here in Famboni before heading on to explore more of the island.
just come to the edge of Thomboni here and we're checking out the local market. And this is where a lot of people will come to buy fruits and vegetables. You have some spices. There's a couple covered market areas, some places where you can buy clothing and different like perfumes. And then there's some markets that are along the street here. So really interesting to see a little bit of the local culture. Just very colorful place to check out. So from here, we're gonna jump on another local taxi bus and we're gonna head to the east to Itzama. So yeah, let's figure out our way there. Good afternoon guys, it's about 4 p.m. and I just had a lovely nap with the sound of the waves on the ocean here. And now we're gonna walk through the little town of Itzamiya, which is probably only about 100 or 200 people. So it's a tiny little place. And again, we are all the way at the end of the road on this island here. So we're gonna go for a little walk through the village, see if we see anything interesting, and then head to the Turtle Beach. Just did a little wander through the Itzamiya village and it was really cool to see a little bit of the life there. Some of them were smashing the cassava leaves and we got to see the old Friday mosque and yeah, just a very small, quiet village. And so now we've come down to the Itzamiya beach and this is where the sea turtles lay their eggs. And so we're just gonna walk along the beach and sometimes in the afternoon, you'll see some of the baby turtles that are hatching and they'll make their way across the sand into the ocean, so we're gonna keep an eye out for some of these baby turtles. come up to the back of the beach here and you can see all of these holes that have been dug out that are the nests of the sea turtles and we're gonna walk along here and if we're lucky some of the baby turtles will be hatching and we'll see them wandering off to the sea so yeah let's walk around here and see if we see any life guys we had just walked the whole length of the beach here and we hadn't seen any babies and we were about to give up because you don't see them all the time only if you're lucky and then we were coming back and we saw our first little baby turtle here who's just crawling across the sand he probably has about 25 30 meters from the nest until he gets to the ocean so it's quite a ways for this little guy to crawl and there's like these big mounds of sand so yeah let's watch him get to the ocean it's really cute he's so tiny he's probably like two or three inches long
fuck, buddy? That was so cute. He was so tiny and he just waddled all the way. It probably took like 10 minutes for him to get like 20, 30 meters here, but he was just waddling. And then, yeah, eventually the waves took him away and now he's gonna grow up and be a big turtle. So yeah, sometimes if you see one baby turtle, there might be like a couple more in the nest that might be hatching. So we're gonna head back and see if there are any more baby turtles hatching, but super lucky that we got to see that one because we were about to give up. So yeah, very awesome. So we only ended up seeing that one little sea turtle, but I'm so glad we saw that one. I mean, you could get lucky and see tons of them escaping to the sea, but sometimes you couldn't see any. So to get to see one, just to see the experience, and it's just fascinating that they pop up out of their shells in these piles of sand, and their first instinct is just to rush to the water. It was just really fun to watch. Like, he was in such a hurry to get there. So anyways, that's about it for tonight. I also flew up my drone here because there's this really cool island just off the coast here. I wanted to get some shots of that and as I was up there I got a shot of a manta ray and then also saw some other sea turtles just swimming around out in the shallow waters out here. So we're going to go back to the hotel now but then later tonight we're going to come back out to the beach and every night the mom sea turtles they come up here and they crawl up into these nests and lay more eggs and so we're going to come out and be able to see a little bit of that process later this evening and it all depends on the tides on what time we're going to head out there so we're going to grab dinner and then later we're going to come out and see the process of laying the eggs by the mom sea turtles so yeah we'll see you guys in a couple hours when we come back to the beach and the high tide is coming in so we are leaving our lodge here after dinner and we're gonna head back to the beach and we're gonna see if we can actually see some of these sea turtles come up onto the beach dig their little nests and lay some of their eggs so very excited very going to be a very unique nature experience and it is pitch dark so I don't know how much of this I'm gonna be able to show you guys but yeah hopefully I'll be able to experience it and hopefully be able to show you guys a little bit of it so yeah let's go find some of these sea turtles Alright guys, that was fascinating to see that little part of nature. We had a guide here and he gave us so much information about the whole cycle. They're born on this beach and they will always lay their eggs on this beach throughout their lifetime. And they come about every three years to lay the eggs and again you have about two to three hundred. So 
and we got to see just a little bit of the process there and we saw the holes that they dug earlier today but they dig these massive holes and it can take about three hours to dig those out and then eventually they'll lay the eggs so we got to see a little bit of the digging process again i don't know how good the footage will be because it's so dark but yeah very fascinating to see in person here so anyways we have a really early morning tomorrow we are heading to another village in moheli so I will see you guys tomorrow morning when we keep exploring this other island of Comores. Good afternoon guys, I have just made it to the little village of Nimashua. And right on the edge of Nimashua, you have the Moeli National Park and there's the Maheli Laka Lodge right beneath us here, which is this beautiful little property. You have all of these nice little bungalows. There's a private beach. You're overlooking some of the islands that are just off the coast here. You have some incredible mountain views. And from the lodge here, we can go on some boat tours and do some excursions going around some of the islands here. So very excited to get out onto the water and check out some of these little islands that are just off the coast. We can do some snorkeling there. And then there's also the little village that's right next to the lodge here, which we're gonna go explore this afternoon. So very cool property. So this afternoon, I'm just gonna relax a little bit at the beach here and in my bungalow, but I'm gonna take you guys down from the lookout hill here and show you around Laka Lodge because it is a beautiful little property and just a really nice place to relax and chill. And I'll have two nights here, so I'm very excited to have some time to relax and just enjoy some of the views and some of the nice beaches of the Comores here. So yeah, let's uh, show you the lodge and then I'll connect in a couple hours this afternoon when we do a little walking tour of the local village. So that gives you a little taste of the Laka Lodge here. Amazing little bungalows. You're just facing these palm trees and these beautiful beaches, the islands off in the distance. There's some really nice common areas like a little lounge, really good food. And yeah, just a beautiful place to relax and chill on the Comores here, which can be quite hectic getting around. So to find like a little respite here and just, I'm excited that I have two nights and about a day and a half to just relax on some of these beautiful beaches of the Comores. So anyways, I'm gonna meet up with Abu, my guide, and this is actually his home village. So he's gonna give me a little village tour this afternoon, show me a little bit of what this small village life is like in Moeli. So yeah, let's meet up with Abu and check out his hometown.
So that was a little walk around the tiny village of Numashua, which is the second largest village on the island of Moeli here, and it has about 6,000 people. So everyone kind of knows each other, and I had Abu taking me around, so he was able to show me some of his friends, and we were able to see a lot of life and activities, and we were able to see some kids in this Quranic school, we were able to see a woman weaving a hat, some of the fishermen, people playing games. Very interesting. Anyways, I'm gonna head back to the lodge. Sunsets in about 15, 20 minutes, so I wanna get some nice views of the sunset over the mountains and then tomorrow morning at about eight or nine we're going to be jumping on the boat and we're going to go on a little boat trip around some of the islands that are just off the coast of Moeli here. So I'll see you guys tomorrow when we do the boat trip around the islands. Good morning guys, it is my second day here at the Moeli Laka Lodge and it's about 8.30 and we are going to jump on one of the boats here at the lodge and we're going to go for a little boat cruise around some of the islands in the Moeli National Park off the coast here, probably do some snorkeling and yeah, check out some of these remote little beaches. And yeah, very excited. This is one of the things I was most looking forward to in Moeli was doing a little island hopping trip. So yeah, let's jump in the boat here and we're gonna cruise around some of the islands. Just taken the boat probably about 15 20 minutes and we're at our first island which I think is called Maya Island this is this beautiful little hill and then you have this nice sandy beach that comes out from it and then I just flew up the drone and you have this beautiful bright blue turquoise reef that surrounds 
the small little island here. So I think we can do a little bit of swimming, a little bit of snorkeling. It looks like the reef is just right off the beach here. So yeah, let's jump in and see some of the fish here in the Moeli National Park. Awesome snorkeling right off the beach of this little island here and just lots of really colorful fish colorful reef and then the guide found an octopus too and I'd never seen an octopus snorkeling before and that was really crazy and just such beautiful blue water here so anyways we're gonna jump back on the boat here and hop around a couple more of the islands <laughs> a nice little cruise on the boat around some of these islands there was this one little rock formation that had a hole in it and we've just docked at our second island on the tour here and this is leper island there's some of these big baobab trees right along the edge of the beach here beautiful blue water and you're just looking back at the mainland of Moeli and yeah so we're gonna explore the beach a little bit probably fly up the drone get some nice aerial shots and yeah just enjoy this second island off of the coast of Milo. That was Leper Island. My guide took me on a little walk along the beach here, and I guess the reason it's called Leper Island is there was a leper colony, and so you have this these ruins of this old building, and then you have some old human remains, so really interesting history on this island. And then you could do a little bit of snorkeling. There's some nice coral right off the beach here. I already did enough snorkeling, and I've had enough sun for today, so we just kind of relaxed on this beach flew up the drone, got some amazing views of some of the beaches and the surrounding islands. And yeah, just a beautiful, peaceful place. It's amazing having these islands just completely 
to myself. It just feels so remote. It's so picturesque, just bright blue water. Anyways, we're gonna load up the boat, and I think this was the last stop of the tour. We're gonna be heading back to the mainland and back to Laka Lodge and hanging out there for the afternoon. just arrived back at Moeli Laka Lodge and that was it for the morning boat tour but beautiful island just less than a mile off the coast here really amazing cruising around loved flying the drone getting some aerial shots of that bright blue water and really colorful coral and then jumping in and seeing a lot of the fish seeing the octopus was really amazing and yeah just amazing to get out onto the water here Again, Moeli is known to be one of the most beautiful islands in the Comores, and now I see why with just these little outer islands, amazing coral reefs, and just really incredible experience. And now we're back at the Laka Lodge. I'm gonna have lunch and just, I think I'm just gonna relax and enjoy the lodge here this afternoon, enjoy the beach, maybe read, maybe go on a couple little hikes or beach walks here. But I think that's about it for the Moeli video with Adore Kamor who set all of this up and arranged for me and just a really cool island again you get a lot of this natural beauty seeing the turtles seeing a lot of the aqua marine life this is really just one of the most beautiful places to come and experience nature there's only 50,000 people on the whole island so it's very isolated very remote and just a really fascinating place to be and again I have like all of these beaches completely to myself. I've barely seen another tourist the whole time. It has that very remote virgin exploration feel to it. So anyways, tomorrow morning I'm going to jump on another local boat and I'm going to go to the third island of the Comores, Anjuan, and experience my third and final island of the Comores. So looking forward to showing you guys that. So I'll see you guys in the next video when we explore Anjuan. <laughs>